Hello and welcome back to Stats Coach. Today's video is going to be how to find what the necessary sample size of a sample is given a particular standard deviation, error, and confidence level. So again, if you know the standard deviation, the desired error size, and the confidence level, then you need all you need to know is how many people to survey or what your sample size needs to be more generally. Um, to make sure that you have a sample that is accurate enough for, uh, for your requirements. So the formula here, n, your sample size, is equal to the critical z value that's associated with alpha over 2 squared times the standard deviation squared, which we know is just the variance, divided by the specified error squared, and that's denoted with the capital E here. So to make this a little bit more tangible, let's do some practice problems. So if you're trying to determine how much the average shopper spends in a mall, you know that the standard uh, deviation is $100 and you want to be accurate to within $50 at a 95% confidence level. How many people must you survey to obtain accurate results? So all that you do here, again, this equation, you just take the n is equal, and we'll find this z value here in a second, but it's going to be that squared, and then it's going to be that times the standard deviation squared, and the standard deviation in this case is 100, divided by our error. So we want to be accurate to within $50, so that's where this 50 goes, so $50 squared. And remember I said we'd come back to here. So I found this Z table here on the internet. And here you just find the Z value on the side and then on the top, and then you get the probability that's associated with that Z value. And remember, we're looking for a Z value that is associated with alpha over two. So in our case, we want to be 95% confident. So the alpha over two, alpha would be 0.05, because it's one minus the confidence level. So alpha over 2 would be 0 0.025. Now, the probability that in this table that's associated with 0 0.025 is 0.975, because you do 1 minus the confidence level. So the z value that is associated with that confidence level uh, would be 1.96. So now when we go back to our equation. We know that the z value that, we're, that we need is 1.96. All right, now we just break out our calculator. So I know that 1.96 squared is, let's go over here, 3.8416, and then 100 squared is 10,000. And then 50 squared is 2,500. So now let's calculate it. And our n value is equal to 15.3664. Now with these problems, with the necessary sample size, we always have to round up. Why? Because if, if we're surveying 15 people, right, that's not going to be accurate enough. But the only, so the only other thing to do is to survey 16 people because you have to get at least this 0.3664 of a person. And obviously that's not a full person, so you just round up to the next person. Okay, let's see another example. So in the next example, we have a dog breeder, and they're trying to determine what the average size of a certain breed of the dog is at birth. They want to be 80% confident in the results, and they're willing to be off by one pound. Standard deviation for puppy weight is two pounds. How many puppies must the breeder weigh? So again, the necessary sample size is how many puppies the breeder must weigh. So our N, again, we'll find that... Um, Z value in the table, but then we have a standard deviation of two pounds, so that's squared, and then we only want to be off by one pound, so our error is one pound squared. 
So if we have an 80% confidence level, let's look at what that would be in the table. Okay, so we're back in the table. If we have an 80% confidence level, then that means and the alpha value is 0.2. So the alpha over two value would be 0.1. Therefore, the Z value you're looking in is the one minus 0.1, which is 0.9. So that's why these are not exactly accurate. You could use Excel if you wanted a perfectly accurate result, but we could round this to 1.285 because it's somewhere between 1.28 and 1.29. So we'll say, 1.285, and now let's plug all of this into our calculator. Well, we know this is going to be uh, 4 over 1 times whatever that is, right? So 4 times 1.6512, and that is equal to... And that is equal to 6.6048, which again, we know we need to round up because you can't weigh 0.6048 of a puppy. So in order to get the, the accurate results, we have to round up to 7. Now you'll see here that 7 is pretty small. Actually, both of these, 16 and 7, are pretty small. Uh, that's because the, uh, well, for the second one, you only need to be 80% confident. So that's actually not all that confident, so the, the z value is a lot smaller. For the first one, our standard deviation um, compared to our error, the error was pretty large compared to the standard deviation, so that's why we didn't really need to sample that many because the accuracy of our sample is not really that large. In most uh, statistics um, courses, for example, or most practical cases, you'll probably want to survey um, or sample at least 30 uh, units because then you start to see the empirical rule apply, but that's a little bit of a more uh, complex co concept. Overall, though, this was a simple explanation um, in necessary sample size. I hope it was helpful to some degree, and I wish you the best um, with all of your statistic endeavors. Feel free to comment down below with any questions about this topic, and I would be happy to answer. Thank you.